Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us on Ozarks Look. Live. Hope everybody's doing well. How are you? I'm doing fine, as a matter of fact. How about you? I'm doing good. He and I went outside a little while ago. If you haven't been out, go out and do nothing. Go out and wave at your neighbors That's, or something. Yeah, but at absolutely. least go out. Yeah. It is a really nice. Go sit on the porch. Go sit on the sidewalk, <laughs> whatever. It's just one of those kind of days. Yeah, at a safe distance, do that. Um, by the way, I meant to mention this yesterday. You know, the film guy is going to be on a little bit yeah. later today with some ideas for streaming, just in case you haven't made your, your way through all of Netflix or Hulu or whatever. Um, have you seen The Big Sick? Like years ago, I think. It was about 2016, 2017, I think. Yeah. Really good movie. Uh, found it on Amazon Prime. Okay. It, it, it's about the guy from Pakistan falls for the girl and no, his family I wants seen that. to. Oh, it's really, it's a, it's a sweet little love story. It's a good movie. Just FYI. Yeah. And that is one that Film Guy, Kurt the Film Guy, actually mentioned to us, I think it was last week. He mentioned that that was one ah. of his favorite movies. And I thought, you know, I have not seen that yet. So I I'm took thinking advantage obviously of. Obviously, of a different movie. Yeah. I saw that it was, it's called The Death of Stalin. You said that was Which starts intriguing. out, you think it's going to be, I mean, it's everybody going different ways and you think it's going to be funny and then it ends. No, it's not. It's one of those things that turn all of a sudden. It has you a go, completely different, Ooh. you know, different <laughs> yeah. ending than you think it's going to when it starts. Yeah. I like things like that, so they're mm. good. Okay, we have got a really good show for you today. Will Warsham and Bruce Porter are back along with another friend from the Humane Society. Yeah, plus, as you heard, Kurt the Film Guy gives us the latest in the world of streaming. But before we get to all that, here's what's on the radar. Okay, I got one for you. I ran across something that I can certainly relate to as a parent. None of us want to put our kids in harm's way. Yeah. Of course we don't. Uh, one dad went above and beyond to help his daughter grocery shop in the safest and most efficient social distancing manner. Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. Check out the very detailed map that dad drew for his daughter before she headed out to the market. Oh. Okay, now the daughter had been begging, mom and dad, please, mom and dad, let me do the shopping. And they finally granted their little girl permission. But get this, oh. this is not a 16 year old with a new driver's license wanting to get out of the house. The daughter is a 44-year-old <laughs> Australian news anchor named Sarah Kanowski. Mom and dad are older folks, which makes this all the more heartwarming to me. I just assumed it was a young teenager. So did I. Dad agrees that he made the right decision by sending her to the store. Clearly, he's enjoying the pawpaw and the custard apple, whatever that is, after Sarah's well-mapped, safe shopping trip. But if you look closely at his map, he's got, you know, the apples are here, the bananas right here. Now, on the yeah. corner is the pawpaw. This is here. Grab this, and then you're out. You know, now that's a great dad right there. Well, being a dad, that also was to go, I don't want you messing around, walking around and spending my time. money. I know this is going to take 20 minutes and you're back. And I'm hungry. So they're thinking of her as their little girl. This of is true. Get this right is true. Back. I want my paw paw. I thought that was nice. And a lot of stores are moving to that one way aisles, yes, which I think is great. That. The one way aisle thing. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, this one is just plain fun. It's all about when a dog's favorite toy comes to life right before his eyes. Take, take a look at this. Okay, you can see him chewing on his little toy there. Uh-huh. <laughs> his Gumby. <gasps> look at this. <laughs> That's Awesome. And now he's going to be about as excited as a dog gets. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what happened to my toy? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah, his, his, his own master owner, his best friend, just yeah, came out dressed full size Gumby. And the pup is just ecstatic. I love that. I don't know if the regular Gumby toy is ever going to do again. You've Probably spoiled him rotten, as you should. Yeah, that was, but that was a lot of fun to yeah, watch. Yeah, I like that one for sure. All right. <laughs> now, I don't know if you've heard the news, but if you're a fan of Doritos, and Tom, I know you're a huge fan. Yes. Any certain kind you like better than? I like the nacho cheese the, the best. The nacho cheese, gotcha. But okay. the others are good. Well, mm. now today may be the best day ever. Oh. In Doritos world or the worst day ever. 
Have you heard of the latest limited edition Mountain Dew Doritos? No. Yes, ah. yes. According to uh, <sighs> Yahoo Lifestyle, here's the deal. These are a limited edition chip. I'm so sorry. Good. With a citrus flavor. Okay. Here. You know those. I like the lime Tostitos. Okay. Like with a nice squawk. That, this wouldn't be terrible. This is Mountain Dew. Yeah, this is pretty bad. It's a oh. one, one problem with the Mountain Dew Doritos. Uh, they're apparently only available in Australia. Not a problem. So sorry. <laughs> While we're on the subject of new products, <laughs> if you can find a 7-Eleven that you can actually walk into, you might enjoy this, the Peeps Marshmallow Latte. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Yeah, it's a, no. They're just marshmallows. Peeps are a thing, especially this time of year. Yeah. Uh, you like Peeps? I do not. Don't want anything to do with them. <laughs> not loving that little marshmallow weird candy. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, the latte, I would think, almost has to be better than the weird candies themselves. Yeah. I would prefer yeah. the latte. And... By the way, it's so popular. If you're a do-it-at-home sort of latte drinker, pick this up. It's Peeps Creamer. Apparently, it was such a hit last year, they brought it back this year just in time to fill your Easter basket. I've never understood the popularity of those little things, ever. But each is Well, here's something you might think about. You know, I've been cleaning a bunch of stuff out of the house in all the nooks and crannies and everything, and I found a little basket, and in this basket were Peeps still in the box. From 1970? No, but it was from the 1990s. <laughs> they still looked brand new. I poked it, and they were still spongy. They were blue. Were they blue? They started out blue, though. They, they weren't the red hot peeps or whatever. There's no, they, I don't know what they were. What they were was trash. You know, I, whoop, that was gone. Out they go. But they still look brand new. Still the same consistency as the fresh ones. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Now, when it comes to a wedding, the guest list is a major concern. All right. While with stay-at-home orders in place everywhere, that list is, you know, pretty much cut down to nothing. Well, a Michigan couple decided rather than postpone their wedding, they would do a little cutting of their own. Mm -hmm. A packaging company donated more than 100 cardboard cutouts to pose as stand-ins for the family and friends who couldn't attend the wedding due to the coronavirus. The cutouts were made to resemble guests, short, tall, young, old, long, and short-haired, and ponytailed. Although the groom was, you know, looking for just general people shape, Ted Harris, the customer service and design manager at the packaging company, thought his more realistic shapes might help soften the blow of not having family to share the newlyweds' most important day, and good on him. <laughs> also, the guests eat less at the reception. A whole lot and, less. An unexpected plus. It reminds me of the pastor that we showed you. Was it yesterday? You, he, yeah, within the last, was it last yeah. week he taped the parishioner's pictures yes. into their proper place in the pew so mm -hmm. he'd have his regular audience, which I thought was pretty genius. It anyway, was. Yeah. Very good. They're going to save a fortune on that wedding. Oh, yeah. Not a bad deal. Unless they will not regret it. Unless they're expected to go and visit every one of those people now. No. Of course, you know, they're going to get fewer blenders and irons and things. This is true. Yeah, well. It still pays off down the road. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Coming up, our mavens of law and finance. Oh, they are mavens, aren't they? Will Worsham and Bruce Porter are next, so don't go away. Ozark's Live is just getting started. Be right back.